सरस्वती शिशु को जगवाना स्टैंडर्ड थर्ड सब्जेक्ट एनवायरमेंटल स्टडीज चैप्टर वन पूनम्स डे आउट टॉपिक समरी ऑफ द चैप्टर डेट ट्वेंटी एट अप्रैल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी चिल्ड्रन वी लर्न इन चैप्टर वन दैट पूनम वॉज अ गर्ल एंड हु वॉज इल सी was at home for the past two days so she was getting bored she requested her mother to go to school but her mother told her that she need some rest she should stay at home puna went in her backyard and fell asleep on the cot under the tree while she was sleeping something fell on her face she woke up at once and looked up she saw many animals on the tree like monkey pigeon ant squirrel crow butterfly sparrow banana and parrot when she touched her cheek it was sticky she thought let me go near by the pond and wash my face while she was washing her face she saw many other animals at the pond she observed that some animals were on the land while some animals were in the water here puna observed that different animals live in the different places so they are called their habitat they used to live comfortably in that place let's we see habitat means natural home of animals like fish live in water comfortably if we keep out the fish from the water it will die so habitat for the fish is called water now according to their habitat there are different group of animals like animals which can live on land they are called terrestrial animals you can see on your screen there are many animals they can live on land and they are called terrestrial animals animals which can live in water they are called aquatic animals like fish turtle jellyfish sea horse octopus starfish etc they are called aquatic animals because they live in water amphibians amphibians can live on land as well in water they are frog salamander tortoise now arboreal animals arboreal animals can live on trees most of their life time they passed on the tree they are squirrel birds monkey etc now aerial animals animals which can fly they are called aerial animals like butterfly birds bat and many more animals that they can fly animals live on the branches like pigeon squirrel as we learn in the chapter there are many animals live on the branches children here animals means all birds insects uh, animals as human being that are called one kind of animals animals which can live on leaf beetle caterpillar grasshopper animals which live on the trunk termites ants owl animals that live under the ground earthworm rat rabbit snake etc animals live around the tree like squirrel snake chameleon and many more animals live around the tree 
here is the exercise you can see it is the with answer like which animal can be seen on the branches which animal can be seen on the leaves on the trunk under the ground around the tree etc now these animal you have to arrange in order of their size the smallest animal should be first the termite is the very smallest animal it is the first and from above animal the cow is the big animal so it is the at last here you have to circle the odd one out means from four animal one animal live in the different places so you have to find out them and give reason for that here the exercise given with the answer you can see it now here are the some animals you have to classify them that which animals live around your home and which animals live in the forest then give example of each like animals can be seen in the sky animal that live on the tree animal live in the water and animals which live on the land and in water now in the part 2 we learn how do animals move different animals move in different way some animals fly some animals walk some animals swim some animals hop and some animals crawl now let's we know the movement of the animals crawl means to move forward slowly with body on or close to the ground like earthworm slither to move by sliding from side to side along the ground like a snake hop short jump by an animal with his two or all feet like a frog kangaroo jump to move quickly in the air by pushing the body up with legs and feet like a monkey waddle to walk with short step like a duck strut to walk proudly like a hen gallop to run fast like a horse lumber to walk heavily like a bear different animals move using their organs like most birds have wings to fly we can walk on our feet fish move with the help of fins so animals move with the help of their feet wings tails etc now animals which can fly which animal can fly so most birds insect like butterfly flies but they cannot fly very high now animals which can crawl caterpillar spider tortoise crocodile and many more animal crawl crawl means they move by dragging their body on the ground animals which can walk human being tiger it is the national animal of india giraffe it is the tallest animal on the earth animals which can swim like fish jellyfish blue whale blue whale is the largest animal on the earth now let's we see the exercise you will have to write how do these animal move spider crawl monkey jump fish swim kangaroo hop parrot flies here you have to find out the answer of this riddle that i am the tallest animal on the earth who am i giraffe i am very slow in my pace but i always win the race who am i tortoise i remain awake whole night i hoot who am i 
owl i guard your home i bark at stranger it is the dog i am the biggest animal on the earth i am an elephant i live on the tree i love to eat banana it is the buggy now here you have to write the animal that you have seen and write the name of the animal that can fly crawl walk hop they have wings animals which have feet and animals which have a tail now in the part 3 we learn classification of animals that we learn there are two kinds of animals vertebrate animals and invertebrates vertebrate animals means with backbone invertebrate animals means they do not have backbone now vertebrate animals can be classified in five groups mammals reptiles birds amphibians and fish invertebrates are insect now let's we know about mammals mammals are the animals which give birth to the young one you can see on your screen like dog cow tiger lion goat sheep all are mammals human being also one kind of mammal they give birth to the young one not lay eggs mammals have hair on their body we can easily see the ears of the mammals the ears stick outside you can see on your screen now mammals have teeth to chew food do you know children blue whale is a mammal it is different than other species they have teeth and blue whale have all the features which mammal have bat bat is also one kind of mammal it have wings but it doesn't burn it give birth to the young one it has hair on their body it has teeth and it is the air breathing animals so bat is the only one animal which can fly now which is the most intelligent mammal on the earth do you know children it's we human being human being is the most intelligent mammal on the earth now let's we revise the mammal mammals have hair on their body it give birth to the young one they are air breathing animals they have teeth and they have easily visible ears now reptiles second group of the animals they are creeping animals they move by dragging their body on the ground like snake crocodile salamander lizard tortoise gecko turtle they are reptiles they are egg laying animals they lay eggs and they have scales on their body which protect their body otherwise they have rough structure of on their body mammals are cold blooded animals means they cannot maintain their body temperature according to the weather if you have observed crocodile coming on the land after some times and after some times it again go into the water to maintain their body temperature they are air breathing animals like mammal they breathe in air now next group of animal bird birds are easily recognized because they have feathers only the animal which have feathers that they are birds they have two wings and two legs to move from place to place they are 
एक ले ही गई बल्स ओके सम बर्ड्स आर फ्लाइटलेस दे कैन नॉट फ्लाई लाइक पैगवील एंड ऑस्ट्रिच दे आर एग ले गई बल्स दे ऑल्सो ब्रीद इन एयर दे हैव हॉल इन देर बी टू टेक इन एयर नव एम्फीबियंस एम्फीबियंस कैन लीव ऑन लैंड एंड इन वॉटर दे ले एग्स दे आर एयर ब्रीदिंग एनिमल्स एंड दे हैव लंग्स टू टेक इन एयर वाइल दे आर ऑन द लैंड एंड दे हैव मोइस्ट स्किन वाइल दे आर इन द वॉटर दे कैन ब्रीद विथ देयर मोइस्ट स्किन एग्जाम्पल लाइक सेलेवेंडर नाउ नेक्स्ट ग्रुप इज फिश फिश हैव स्पेशल बॉडी फीचर्स दैट हेल्प देम टू लिव इन वॉटर लाइक दे हैव फीड्स to move in water gills to breathe and they have scales on their body which protect them there are different kinds of fish you can see now next group is insect insects have wings and six legs their body is divided into three part head thorax and abdomen and they have two feelers Insects are also egg-laying animals. They have hard shell on their body to protect them cells. You can see the example of insect and grasshopper. We also learn animal sound in part three. The different animal sound is different. You can see on your screen. Now here is the summary of the chapter. you can read and understand the chapter here are some exercises given with the answer the animal sounds identify the picture and write their name now classify the up more animals in the different group like mammals reptiles insects and birds mammals are monkey and elephant they give birth to the young one they have hair on their body they have teeth to chew food they have easily visible ears so they are mammals reptiles crocodile and snake they move by dragging their body on the ground they lay eggs they are cold blooded animals and they have special body structure like they have scales on their body insect cockroach and termite they have six legs and two wings they have feelers they lay eggs that is why they are insects birds they have wings to fly they have two legs to walk and they have feathers on their body so here is the riddle you can see the answer of the crossword on your screen Thank you children